Hi, I'm Michael. I'm an engineer with New Relic, and I'm gonna go over the status page application. We're gonna talk about configuration, customization, and installation, and we're gonna tell you why this is gonna be important to you and your business. So let's get started. If we dive into New Relic, we're gonna be looking at what's called the New Relic One platform. This is essentially an area where all of your information can be found in one place, including applications like the status page. Before I actually get started with the status page and what it is and where to find it, I'm just gonna point it out over here at the bottom left-hand side. Uh, this is gonna be where we're gonna to go to, to actually use this service and find any other additional applications inside of our environment. But before we do that, let's talk about installing and using this. So I can open up the application catalog that you see here, which essentially acts as one large marketplace, kind of like what AWS, Google, Azure does to be able to provide application value into their customer environments. And here I can actually just add this service or any other additional application I'm looking for directly into my account with two simple clicks. One, to pull up the application to see more details about it. Uh, and then two, to add it into that particular account. So once I do that, the application will automatically import and I'll be able to see that inside of my platform when I go back into New Relic One overview screen and I can see that application appear inside of the environment. When I click on the application, this is when we can start configuring it, changing it, uh, making it something that's gonna be useful to us and our business and allow us to be able to do our jobs more effectively. So you can see when you first open it, there are actually ones that are automatically defaulted in there, including ourselves inside of New Relic, uh, with, along with GitHub, Jira, Google Cloud, and various other services that have been pulled in and been configured uh, before our conversation or our talk today. Let's say I wanted to add a new service. Uh, what I can do is I can go over here on the far right hand side and there's a section that just says add which service and there are quick drop downs uh, for different areas that we found as New Relic to be of the most value to our customers. If I click on any of these, let's say I wanted to add Jira, added lasting into here, uh, that will get automatically populated from here without me having to do anything besides just click a button. So I'm gonna start over, delete Jira. It will ask me if I wanna remove it, so I'm gonna get rid of it entirely. And now I can press on add a service, refine Jira again. All the data is automatically created, including the status page URL, the logo, what type of status page it is. I'm gonna add that service in. And then I can actually see that automatically populate in a matter of milliseconds and show me everything I need to know about that particular uh, application status at this moment. So one, I can see that everything is good and green. There are no problems going on right now, which is exactly what I'm looking for when I'm a developer because I want to know if something's broken, is it me or is it somebody else? I can also go in and actually look at individual instances, same exact information I would find in any other status page, and being able to actually see all of the incidents, the timestamps, the information that I would need to say to my customers, hey, uh, I understand that there's a, there's a slowdown. It's actually because of software A, software B, and they're actively working on fixing that. So not only can I consolidate all of the different tool sets and applications that my products and my services depend on into one place, uh, but I can go into here and see exactly when there's an issue, be notified of it, and take steps to remediate and fix that before it actually starts to impact and affect my customers. Let's take another example that's a, a little less customized and not showing up in our quick setup section. Let's say I wanted to add in Red Hat. So I can type in Red Hat. I have the URL already pulled up. And here we can actually see the, the operational information about Red Hat from their own website and their own service. So if I actually just copy and paste that URL in, I'll choose the provider type and I'll just say it's a status page. If I wanted to add the Red Hat logo, I can do that as well. Uh, but I'm gonna skip that step for now. Add the service. And again, in mere milliseconds, that appears inside of my environment to again, help consolidate all the, the status page information that I need down into one single location, making my job effectively much easier and much quicker. So let's actually take a look at the data. I can see that there was an issue uh, yesterday at 6.15 PM. Poor Red Hat's taking, taking the hit here. Uh, it looks like it was resolved after about three hours. And I can actually even go back into Red Hat and then see that same information in their past incidents. So here at 6.3, we can see that that incident occurred. 
and it was resolved in about three hours with the same exact time information, timestamp, and data uh, that's being collected inside of New Relic. So again, we're able to consolidate all the information down across a number of different status pages into one observability platform uh, through using the application called Status Pages. Now that we've gone through Status Page, I wanna encourage you all out there to not only come in and install this in your own environment, but actually use New Relic as a way to be able to build out and push in your own applications, either by modifying the existing ones that our team has built specifically for you, uh, or using React to build your own and push them into our environment. Our platform has been built to be an observability platform because we're allowing customers to ingest as much data and as much information as possible to be able to help them solve real world issues and real world problems. So uh, thank you for coming through. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please play along and have a great time with New Relic.